ready to roll with the Parkers. Hi, good afternoon rollers. So we are at Lake Georgetown uh, camping for just a few more days and it has been a rainy, stormy, wet, soggy week. So we are not cooking outside. Today I'm going to be using my crock pot inside the RV um, and I'm trying something brand new from a recipe that I found online, Salsa Verde Shredded Chicken Enchiladas. The ingredients that we're going to be needing are the cooking spray of your choice and what you're going to do is you're going to generously, generously spray the inside of your crock pot with that. One 16 ounce jar of Salsa Verde. I just got the mild. You can get whatever suits you best. 12 corn tortillas. 2 cups of shredded chicken. Now you can cook your own chicken and shred it. You can use a rotisserie chicken and shred it. We have a small RV refrigerator and so what works best for us was just for me to buy something already shredded. So I purchased this shredded chicken right here. We'll have 2 teaspoons of ground cumin. A four ounce can of chopped green chilies. I couldn't find a four ounce can, so I got a seven ounce can. Um, one cup of shredded cheese and a half a cup of sour cream. So the first thing we're going to do, um, Dwight sprayed the inside of the crock pot using the nonstick spray. I'm going to take the salsa verde and just put it into a small dish and I've already washed my hands. We're going to dip each corn tortilla top and bottom into the salsa verde and then just place them on a plate. And to the remaining salsa verde what we're going to do is Add our shredded chicken. It calls for two cups. This was a little bit more than two cups, so I'm going to use it all. Two teaspoons of cumin. I've just got the ground cumin. I love the smell of the ground cumin. I love the flavor. Let's pour in our green chilies. The recipe tells me to drain the juice, but I think that's draining flavor. So I did not, I did not drain the juice. And we're going to do half of the cheese. Just mix up these ingredients. You might hear in the video now that it has started raining again. We have been getting a variety of thunderstorms, lightning, hail, tornado watch. Grateful that we did not get those tornadoes, but we've had a few rocky days and we're camped under a tree and you can hear every single raindrop and every single acorn that falls on us. Okay, so right now I'm going to take the lid off. I've already got my crock pot set for four hours so that it would get preheated. I'm just going to use my hands, which are clean. And you're going to try to save a little mixture uh, for the end. So just start. This piece didn't shred very good. Add a little bit of um, your mixture. 
and then you're going to roll these and put them the same side down into the crock pot. Once I get these going, Dwight can probably come over here to the crock pot and show you what's inside. Mmm. That looks good. It smells good. Mmm. Okay, so that makes 12. Now you could choose to dip more than that if you want to. I guess I could have, but the recipe called for 12. Um, you can see I've got about seven in the bottom and the rest are on top. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a half, uh, excuse me, a quarter cup of sour cream. And I'm gonna mix it to what remains in my pan after filling the tortillas. This smells good enough to eat right now. <laughs> Simple recipe I found online. Got my trusty egg to help me out here. And then we're just gonna push this onto the top of the stack of tortillas that we have here. I'm gonna do my best to try to get it as even as possible. And then this cooks on low for three to four hours. Let's take the remainder of the cheese. It's that easy. Smells great. Ah, beans are done. Oh yeah. Dwight, dinner. Come on, let's eat dinner. Dinner? What time is it? It's 4 30. 4 30? Who eats dinner at 4 30? By the time I dish up the enchiladas and the beans and we sit down to eat, it'll be at least quarter to five. Uh, I just don't understand why we have to eat at 4.30. What do you mean? It's been cooking for four hours. Yeah, but couldn't we just eat at a decent time? You're not going to eat a cold dinner. Well, I can tell you one thing. I'm not going to force feed myself enchiladas just because they're hot. I can tell you that. All right. Let's wait. But it's unheard of. So, do you really want to wait or do you want to go ahead and eat? No, I want to eat. It's 4.30. All right. I do too. Let's see how this turned out. Well, I made some barracho beans. Oh man, these smell really good. Let's hope they turned out good.
Just a couple. It's kind of hard to tell where they are under all that chicken and that beautiful sauce. How's that? Mm, that looks great to me. A little splash of hot sauce. Salsa Verde Crock-Pot Chicken Enchiladas cooked in the RV. Um, um, it passed the taste test. 